All right, boys and girls, here we go. 2010 Honda CRV review, and the time it takes me to get to and from the grocery store. This is my mom's car. It's furnished in this material that I think someone probably called leather. Uh, it's open to interpretation. Um, it has Honda's little four-cylinder um, I don't remember the displacement. Uh, it's just, this is the last year of the four-speed automatic. It's a very ancient transmission. The year later in the CRV facelift, they put a five-speed automatic. And I would guess that that's, oh, I don't know, hopefully a little bit more responsive than this. It's pretty miserable, if I'm honest. Um, I drove this car 16 hours straight once. I think it was 16 hours straight. I drove it from just outside St. Louis to Washington, D.C. in one day. And, um, you know, as you may be aware, it's a Honda Civic, but taller. Um... Yeah, that was a miserable drive. All right, let's give it the beans. Little, what a disgusting sound. What a gross sound. Um, it's loud in here. It's boomy. I think you probably know what I'm talking about. Maybe not. The thing that is actually really exquisite is the steering. It's, it's, I really like how it's weighted. Um, but everything else about the driving experience of this car, I kind of despise. Not in a way that makes me like, like miserable in the moment necessarily. Like I don't feel miserable. I certainly did after that 16 hour drive. Um, because of the way you sit in here, uh, the only way I can describe it is just like, I don't know if it's too low or too high, but I, I sit like I would sit in like an office chair and it's just, I don't know, I don't know, man. It's, uh, this car actually looks pretty good because, um, my stepdad bought it new. I think there's only, I would guess there's probably the only one like it because he optioned, he made them spec some very specific options um, that make it look acceptable. I don't think I've ever seen a CRV look quite as acceptable. Um, my mom drives a lot uh, and she carries a lot of stuff and she drives in those places where little accidents happen a lot, often. Um, and she has some very bad habits. She does this thing like accelerate and then decelerate, and then accelerate, and then decelerate. And it's very hard on all the mechanics. And, and we're nearing 100,000 miles now. Uh, and it's held up for the most part. They did some work on it. And the engine has a very odd noise that it makes now. You can hear the engine, or you can hear the road noise, for sure now. Um, in terms of performance, I mean, you know, they're, they get around that corner going too fast sometime with the camera, because that's really the only, that's the only fun I've ever had in this car, is like, um, leaning around this long, if you could call it a sweeper, uh, going just a bit too fast, but, um, I think, uh, one time I did try to go fast.